You will, of course, uh, pay the bill now before you leave, no? Uh, no, no, I mean, yes. Um, uh, my partner, Daffy Duck, will be re right back. He's out there uh, 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 cashing a check. Come on, seven. Be good to Daffy. Don't fail me now. Uh-oh. Snake eyes. Too bad. You is a dead duck. Duck. for this week, Robespierre. You have insulted me! We meet on the field of onion!
twenty and four to Geronimo! I can't stand it. I can't stand it. It's getting me. I'm going stir crazy. Bastille Betty. Call her Coco. Look at my prison pallor. I'm as black as a sheet. Uh, gosh, if uh, uh, Bugs Bunny was only here. Yeah, Bugs Bunny, my hero. He can get out of any spot. I saw him in a Leon Schlesinger cartoon once. The hunter had him covered. And he, uh, he, uh, he uh, grabbed the gun. And bang! The hunter fell. What a guy. Nothing can hold him. He'll get us out of here. Hello, Central. Give me Bugs Bunny. Hello, Bugs. This is Daffy. Uh, what's up, Duck? That Palooka manager has got us locked up in the Broken Arms Hotel. We thought you could help us get out. Uh, did you try the elevator? Yes. Uh, throw him down the stairs? Yes. Use the sheet? Yes. Swing across on the rope? Yes. We tried all those ways. Ah! Don't work! Do a thing! That's all, folks. effort. As the tenseness of the world situation mounts by the hour, more and more important in the defense plan looms our vital industries. Fast furnaces at white heat convert the iron ore into defense implements. Here we see the molten metal, automatically conveyed and about to be poured. This is the stuff from which tanks are made. In modern blitz warfare, Air power is often the deciding factor, and the need for all types of planes has every American aircraft factory humming. <laughs> because of their proven effectiveness, various types of British RAF planes are studied and improved upon. In front of us is one of the famous English Spitfires. <laughs> With the machinery and materials approaching peak output, the need for men to man these machines grows urgent. Then came the drafts. X-tree, X-tree, read all about the draft bill. Citizen Sugarcane says, Our open door policy is responsible for the draft. All over the country, men of draft age scan their draft board lists for their number and discuss their chances of being called up. Tell you we ain't got nothing to worry about. We both got high numbers. Your numbers even higher than mine. And besides, you're much too short. Yeah, they'd never take a little ruck like you. You and your education. Draftees are housed in well-planned modern army camps. 
Because of the outdoor life and regular hours, the boys develop hearty appetites and are fed plenty of good, wholesome food. Because, as the great General Napoleon once said, an army travels on its stomach. The army is rapidly being equipped with all types of armament, from the huge siege guns down to the machine gun nest. Even in a modern mechanized army, the horse still has a place. Here are some army horses raised in South America. La conga! <laughs> Our new anti-tank gun is the answer to any possible tank attack. Here is one about to blast a robot tank. Here it comes. Watch the tremendous hitting power of this super gun. The tank is almost in the direct line of fire. Get ready. Aim. Fire! 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 What's the matter? Why don't they shoot? What are those gunners doing? <laughs> Mine's longer than yours. Here we see the latest long-range rapid-fire coast defense gun in action, shooting 10 million shells a second. Watch. <laughs> of government policy, new machines are constantly being developed. Here is the latest weapon, a land destroyer, 100 times faster and more effective than a tank. Look at that thing go, hurtling through space at five miles a minute. Hey, stop and let us see that machine. Hello again, folks. Hold on to your bridge work, boss. Here we go again. Thanks. The president orders all-out test of defense strength. The mighty armed forces of the nation respond to the president's command. Fortresses, pursuit ships, long-range bombers. And on the sea, our mighty Navy tries out its powerful guns. On land, our tank corps drives forward to the scene of action. Are we safe from air attack? Supposing one day a fleet of enemy bombers suddenly appeared over the horizon. Where are our defenses? Why isn't something being done? Some years ago, a seemingly unimportant event occurred which was destined to vitally affect the future of that little world. Mr. and Mrs. Duck were expecting. <laughs> And so time passed. Hey, bud, not so fast. Oh, all right. But time does fly, don't it, Johnny? 
time passed. The bad egg grew to, ma to duckhood and with artistic aspirations dreamed of brush and palette, but ended up with only the brush. They don't know art, and they read it. His artistic efforts spurned, he soon turned to other endeavors. Und vergess nicht, you dopes! Ich bin der aufgeblosende Fresh in Deutschland, in alle Europa, ja in der ganzen Welt! My mama done told me, stay heil! And there were some gullible ones who listened. Especially one goose. More gullible than gooses. Goose, goose, geese, mice, mice, goose, geese usually go. That's all right. That's the real stuff, kiddo. He's a smarter fellow with brains, huh? Like a me. Right, and not is gain by show of might. came another partner to make a silly axis of himself. I, a Japanese, a sap, a man, sneaking on with a do. Uh, just a Japanese, a sap, a man, I'm a little crazy too. of war, once more the Axis march toward dreams of further conquest. One, two, button of my shoe. Three, four, shut an honorable door. Five, six, see him over the sticks. Seven, eight, array them a straight. Nine, ten. Begin again. Mercy me, regretful sight. Oh, branch of peace. Forestall this fight. Kind sirs, change your warlike.
peekaboo frizz. Busy little bee, aren't I? I hate war, but once begun, well, I just didn't choose to run. So I can point with pride and say, there's three that didn't get away.
little Petey. Eat up all your seeds and get nice and big. And you too, Rudolph, eat up all your dinner. like the city folks. Now, take this farmer here. Why, he's heard and read about them there incendiary bombs. You know what he's done? He's even trained his pet dog to help put out the fires. Here's his dog just about to go into action. He's a full-blooded Spitz. <laughs> Now take this here cow, for instance. Why, you know, she's increased her production and she's now given 5,000 quarts of milk a day. That seems like a lot of milk, but 5,000 quarts is what she gives. Gives nothing? They come in and take it from me. <laughs> what a performance! 
Well, look who's here. It's old Tom. You know, old Tom is about the oldest cat in these here parts. Yes, sir. Why, he's been around for the last three wars, and he knows that this one will turn out all right, too. Uh, say now, would you look at that? A teeny little woodpecker. Now, I bet you I know what he's aiming to be when he grows up. I reckon he plans to be a riveter at Lockheed. Ooh, look at the tad's tail. Ooh, did I do? I did a whipping. I doed it. You know, we American people always sort of look forward to Thanksgiving. And this year is certainly no exception. This year, Turkey is getting fattened up. Oh. Yes, sir, he's getting lots to eat, and you know what? When he reaches 20 pounds, he'll be ready for the oven. 20 pounds? Oh, oven. <laughs> You know, uh, these turtle eggs, they've been laying around in the sun for quite a spell, and, uh, well, what do you know? Looks like they're getting ready to hatch. I do to the end. <laughs> well, as I was saying, these little turtles are born with a natural bomb-proof shelter on their backs. Ain't that cute? What in the world has come over that? Hey, little feller. What do you think you are? Beep, beep. I'm a jeep. Jeep, jeep. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> well, now that we're back on the farm, uh, <laughs> let's sort of peek in on a young fella who's a courting his sweetie. <laughs> Maria Elena, uh, 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 would you be my, uh, the... Uh, would you like me to, to, oh, no, 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 uh, would you be my, uh, to, to, oh, gosh, I wish there was a blackout. Uh-oh, uh, uh blackout! Oh, boy, oh, oh boy, oh, oh, boy, blackout! Blackout! I just don't know what has come over the caterpillars. Just seem to lay around and look glum. Well, would you look at that little feller. He sure looks happy, don't he? Happy? Of course I'm happy. I just got a rage red. <laughs> Uh, these little fireflies here are going to stage a practice blackout. Looks like they're set to go. Okay, lights out. Hey there, turtle. You better pull into your shelter. It's a blackout. Nope, I did nothing else. Pull your head in. That's better. Why in the world didn't you want to go into your shell? Well, uh, I'm afraid of the dark. All right, fireflies. Blackout's over. Hey, you. You on the end. Yes, you. What happened to your light? Hey, who's the bulb snatcher? Who's the bulb snatcher? Did you ever see a prettier sight than this here mother bird? She is a-teaching her little son how to fly. It's very easy, darling. Just flap your wings like this. See? Come on now. Do as Mommy did. Ah, Ma. I want to be a dive bomber. <laughs> Guess about the only living creatures that haven't been affected by the war are the famous swallows of Capistrano. Yes, sir. As you all know, these here birds return to the mission on a certain day each year, and we're here just in time to see them come back. 
They'll be along any minute now. Telegram for the audience. What does it say? It says here, we are out over the ocean. Can't even get close to land. We can't fly to Capistrano. Past the fourth interceptor command. Signed to Swallows. Now you folks all know how valuable carrier pigeons is in wartime. I do it. <laughs> As I was saying, about them there carrier pigeons, well, now this proud couple is famous around these parts. During the last war, they gave more sons to the service than was ever thought possible. Well, more. We did it before. And, and we, we can, can do it again. again. And we, we will do it again.
Uncle Dillingham duck. Did I cry spinach when I stood a duck on Plymouth Rock? Did I in Washington give up with their limp fortune hog? Did Dan O'Boone and me quite quits when Injun saved our scalp? Did John Paul Duck give up the ship or ever holler help? Hey, Daffy, Americans don't give up. No, Daffy, Americans. Don't give up. That's right. And I'm an American. Duck. Up there in the sky. It's a bird. No, it's a plane. No. It's Super American. Dream. Hey. Next time you dream, include us out. <laughs> 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 